Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you face double controller issue or ghost controller issue with FC25 game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to add EA desktop app to Steam. So you can download Steam if you don't have Steam and then create an account and then go to library. Just go to Steam on the bottom left here. You can see add a game option. Click on it and then click on add a non Steam game and then click on browse and then go to the C drive. Now open users, uh, sorry, open program files folder and then find electronic arts folder. Open this folder. Now open EA desktop. Now open EA desktop. Scroll down and find EA desktop app. Once you find it, click on open. Once it is added over here, now click on add selected program. And then once it is added over here, now you can launch EA app from Steam. So if Steam is open, you can, uh, sorry, if EA app is open, you can close EA app and then you can launch EA app from Steam and then launch the game from EA app and then check. Still not working. The next step is to add FC25 to Steam. Now for this, again, click on add a game, non-Steam game and then click on browse and wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder. Program files and then open EA games folder, EA sports folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Once the game is added over here, click on add selected program. And once the game is added, find the game. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game from Steam and then you can check. Now the next step is to Steam users disable or enable Steam input. Now for this, uh, you can click on the game, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to controller tab. Now over here, first of all, you can try disable Steam input and then you can launch the game and then check still not working. Make a right click, go to properties, go to controller tab once again. And this time you can select enable Steam input and then check which one is working fine for you. Still not working. The next step is to disable Steam input and use USB cable to connect your controller. Now for this, you can go to the game properties controller tab. You can disable, disable the Steam input and then you can launch the game. But this time before you launch the game, you can use the USB cable to connect your controller. So use the wired connection and then check. Next step is to go to Steam. Now this has worked for a few players, so you, it might work for you. So whatever changes you have made, just revert back to the default settings. So over here, use default settings. You can try this and then you can go to Steam and then go to settings. Now go to the controller tab. Now over here, if you have Xbox controller, you can turn off, you can turn off this enable steam input for Xbox controller. Now PlayStation controller user, if PlayStation controller support is enabled over here, you can first of all try not enabled and then launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can try enable in game W slash O support. You can try this. You can even try enabled. So try each one and then check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode and then launch the game. So first of all, uh, you can go to properties. You can try both. Go to the control tab. First of all, disable Steam input. Once you disable it, now on the top right here, you can see big picture mode icon. Click on big picture mode icon. And then you can launch the game once you are in big picture mode. Sorry. Now, once you are in big picture mode, you can launch the game from here and then you can check. Now you can try both. You can try both enable and disable steam input before you go to the big picture mode. So first of all, you can try to you can try this disable steam input and then you can go to big picture mode and then check if that does not work. You can enable steam input, then go to big picture mode and then check. Now 
the next step is to now make sure to disconnect if you have any external devices which you are not using you can disconnect those devices if you have extra joystick or controller connected disconnected if you have hotas wheel pedals or any usb adapter connected to the computer any usb dongle connected you can disconnect it if you have any kind of virtual controller you can just disable it or uninstall it you can disable it from the device manager or you can simply uninstall it and then check now now playstation controller user you can install rewasd or ds4 windows application and then you can configure your controller and then check now the last step is to use wired connection so if nothing is working you can use the usb cable to connect the controller to the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the double controller issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel